So I have done all the hard work for you guys. So, you know, thank me later because you need to look no further. I've got you covered, girl. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Massive welcome to you guys. And yeah, if you're watching this for the first time, my name is Lucy Bradwell, Instagram at L Bradwell. And yeah, if you do enjoy, please do subscribe by hitting the button down below. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because I honestly ordered so many pairs of boots. It was unreal, like it was ridiculous the amount of boots that I ordered. Um, but I wanted to do that partly because I need some new boots for autumn winter, obviously. But I also wanted to share with you guys the nicest styles that I could find. So I'm not showing you any of the boots that I obviously returned or turned up and they were a funny colour or style or they didn't look right or they were too big or anything like that. I'm only showing you guys the best. So I feel like this video would be really useful for you guys because I spent hours looking for all these boots and now you guys don't need to because I found all the best ones for you. So I'm going to talk about each shoe a little bit but mainly just about where they're from and what other colours they come in and the bulk of the video I'm hoping is going to be actually me trying them on so you can see what they look like because let's face it that's what you really want to see what they look like on. And also guys before I forget um, all of these boots are going to be linked below of course um, in order of appearance and to make it a little bit easier I'm kind of going to name the boots like boot one, boot two, boot three just so when you're looking in the description box below it's really clear on what boot is what because obviously a lot of these boots um, descriptions are going to be quite similar so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to find boots that you might have your eye on. So first up is these cute little knitted elasticated boots from Ego. Um, I absolutely love these, I think they're such a little flattering shape. They have a stiletto here, obviously this light, beautiful light nudie colour. These also come in black and burgundy, um, if nude's not your thing, but who is, whoever is nude not their thing. They are $44.99. Um, so yeah, they have a stiletto here and this really cute um, stretchy elasticated detailing here. Boots number two are these neoprene, I think that's how you say it, block heeled ankle boots from Misguided. Um, yeah, the heel is block and it's really chunky, so they're really sturdy and yeah, I would say appropriate for the daytime use. They've got a pointed toe, which is really cute. And yeah, because of the material, they are jet black. They are stretchy um, and these are currently £45, which I think is quite reasonable for these. Um, because they're obviously a daytime boot, you'll get, probably get quite a lot of wear out of them. Um, yeah, so they're the sock style. And these also come in grey and nude. So nice, I bought them twice. Yes, it's boots number three. I have them in nude and in black because I love them so much. Um, yes, I already had the nude pair, but I bought the black because I absolutely love these. So basically, these boots are from Misguided. They're £40. They also come in the nude, obviously, and a pinky colour. Um, they're a stretchy sock boot um, style, more appropriate for evening, I would say, and they're £40. Um, I absolutely love the combination of like the round toe with the stiletto heel. I think that's really unusual because usually with stiletto to stiletto heel, you just get a pointy um, toe. So I just thought that's lovely and it's really flattering on the um, foot, which you'll see in my little clip. These also have a five star rating on the misguided reviews, which I just thought was incredible. Really, it just goes to show how much everyone loves these boots.
Boots number four are these absolutely beautiful boots from River Island and they are only £55 which I find really hard to believe because they have such amazing detail on them and honestly I just think £55 is so reasonable for this shoe they feel so sturdy like proper really really well made um so yeah I feel like these are an absolute steal as you can see the detail on them is just absolutely beautiful I love kind of this western effect these also come in black as well, if you feel like this colour you don't wear so much. Um, I know most people wear black boots probably the most, but I do think that this colour actually looks a bit nicer than the black, but because I feel like the detailing stands out a little bit more. But you know, the black ones still look really nice, but I just chose to pick up this colour. Um, yeah, so as you can see, they're a lovely kind of tanny colour. five is these River Island block heel and pointed toe ankle boots in this lovely faux suede material. Um, I, I just absolutely love the shape of these boots. I think they're really quite a cool shape. If you see here, not too high either. I would say they're a medium heel and again it's chunky so really good for daytime use. They've got this beautiful kind of gold zip at the back, which I just think is a really nice, subtle piece of detailing. And yeah, these boots were £42, which I think is so good. I, I just think for a casual daytime boot, that is a really, really good price. Um, and I know that I will personally wear this boot in particular a lot, um, just because it's so versatile and so wearable. Boots number six is another casual daytime style from River Island. Um, I just thought these were really wearable and kind of really universal for kind of day-to-day -day wearing, so that's why I picked them up. They um, are this kind of faux leather material at the front, and then at the back we've got this kind of crocodile patent leather effect with also this kind of Chelsea boot stretchy feature on the side, um, and a little kind of toggle at the back to help you pull the shoe on. And they look like a really nice shape as well. Also, another point to make with these shoes is that I found that they come up slightly big. Not enough for me to return them and have to get a new size, but I definitely felt like they were a little bit looser than all the other boots that I tried on. So maybe if you are in between sizes, that's just something that you can take into consideration there. And these boots are £40. Boots number seven, we have a real daytime style now. So if you're thinking those other boots are probably a little bit too high for you, then maybe these little ankle boots from ASOS are perfect for you. I thought these are just absolutely adorable. I absolutely love them. They've got a um, small to medium heel and they are suede material. I think they're real suede actually. They've got kind of a, a fake zip detail on this side and the genuine zip is over here. Um, these are just so comfortable, that's what I remember about when I put these on, and yeah, just perfect daytime boots really. They're £42, which I think is pretty reasonable considering how comfortable I thought they were, and this style boot obviously you get quite a lot of wear out of, so yeah, ASOS did well with these I think. They've got kind of that western cowboy-esque feel about them, with the kind of suede material and this detailing alongside. These also come in a beautiful nude colour as well and yeah, like I said, they are £42, which I think is really, really reasonable.
Boots number eight are these faux suede ankle boots from Public Desire. I am a really big fan of boots like this, which kind of come up the ankle a little bit more than your standard ankle boot. I think they're really flattering and so perfect for wearing with jeans. These are $34.99, which I think is really good value for money um, because they are absolutely beautiful. Um, they've got a really high heel on them and the zip at the back zips all the way down to um, the base of the heel. So yeah, really easy to put on. And these also come in grey too. So if you've been searching for your perfect over the knee boot but keep on finding styles that just fall down, look no further because honestly I have found the perfect boot for you and it is boots number 9 from Ego and they are over the knee um, with this stiletto heel detailing, pointed toe but the best part about these boots is actually this complete band which runs down the side of them, um, down the back sorry, which is completely elasticated so that just obviously just really helps keep the boots up because that is the problem with knee high boots really isn't it finding ones that stay up with these you don't have that problem i remember when i put them on it was like tight on my leg which was like perfect like it's such a nice change to have boots that are so fitted at the top um and i just thought the, the bottom was really lovely as well they've got a stiletto heel but the stiletto isn't mega high um so yeah, really wearable and I know I will be wearing these a lot over the next few months because I absolutely love them. So these boots are $49.99, a little bit more expensive than the other boots because obviously you get a lot more material and boot within that price. And they also come in mocha and red too, so yes. Boots number 10 are from Misguided and these are fantastic because these are actually thigh high boots. So if you love knee high boots but you want to push the boundaries a little bit further, why not check out these thigh high boots? Can't even fit them all into the screen of the camera. I did pick up a lot of boots of this style, kind of like the, the stretchy sock boot, kind of knee high, thigh high. Um, but these ones from Misguided I found were the best in terms of staying up, they are tight to my thigh, they are not falling down, um, so yeah, these ones were the best ones that I found of this kind of lycra sock material. Um, and I do find that the kind of the lycra sock materials do tend to stay up a little bit better than the faux suede um, knee high boots, just because that material is just tighter. These boots also come in grey as well and they are £50, which again I would say was in line with what I would expect to pay for a boot like this. Now we're taking it back because Boots number 11 is a really nice daytime over the knee style from Miss Pap. Um, I picked these up because obviously we can't be tottering around in stilettos every day even though I wish I could. Um, so I was looking for some daytime over the knee boots and these ones from Miss Pap really stood out to me because I thought they were a really nice shape. They're faux suede material which looks really pretty. They've got a gold zip detailing here and they look really sturdy and comfortable. These are £35 as well, which is amazing price really, and they also come in grey.
Now if you're looking for an over the knee boot for casual wear but you still want something with a bit of a heel, maybe this is for you because these number 12 booties are over the knee, round toed, chunky heel goodness. Like I absolutely love these, they are such a nice design. Um, like I say they've got a massive heel but it's really chunky so I feel like that's really easy to wear in the daytime. Um, they're a little bit ruffled at the front which is a nice extra bit of detailing and they are faux suede. These are £39.99, again reasonable price and um, I don't think these come in any other colours, it is just the black. Again, if you're looking for a casual over the knee style, perhaps these ones would be to your liking. They are these over the knee faux suede camely nudie coloured boots from Misguided and these are £40, um, which again is a reasonable price I would say. They also come in black as well and they have this kind of stretchy um, elasticated feature at the top of the material which of course helps keep it up. Um, yeah, so they've got a pointed toe and a block heel. Again, I would say a medium height heel, but because it's so chunky, really easy to walk in. So yeah, absolutely love these. Now if you love the idea of having some nude over the knee boots but you want something perhaps a little bit more sassy then these boots from Public Desire may be just perfect for you because I absolutely love these. Aren't they just so stunning with that tiny little um, buckle detail at the front. I just think that's so lovely. And they are a kind of light nudie colour which, well I'd say like a yeah, sandy nude um, which again absolutely love. Um, they are the faux suede material and also come in grey and black and you know what I might just have to treat myself to the black pair as well because that is just winning me all over. I mean for £50 I just think these are so so lovely. Next up are these absolutely stunning boots from Public Desire which are currently retailing at £49.99. Um, oh, I just absolutely love the overall shape of these boots, I just thought they were absolutely stunning. Um, they've got a really skinny stiletto heel and a pointed toe, so perfect for like slaying an evening style. Um, and they come in this beautiful kind of grey taupey colour. These boots also come in pink, beige and um, like a berry colour. Um, I absolutely love this colour so I'm going to pick these up and again they are that lovely faux suede material. Now last but by no means least are these super cute peep toe and peep heel boots from Miss Pap which again yes over the knee style with this beautiful faux suede material which I absolutely love. Um, the best thing about these boots is that they are only £20 which I just think are an absolute bargain and a bit of a must have really for autumn winter because 
They're so comfortable and so easy to wear and because the heel is so small as well, I just feel like they're so versatile. If you watch my Instagram stories or look on my Instagram, you'll see that I've featured these boots quite a few times. I also have them in black, but they also come in a lovely khaki colour as well. So that's it from me now guys, thank you so much for watching my autumn winter boots lookbook slash haul, um, I really hope that you've seen some styles that you like, um, everything will be linked below in order of appearance and um, yeah please do subscribe if you don't already and leave some comments because I would love to hear from you, okay then bye guys.